Okay, so uh, again, calculator is not going to help you here, despite being a calculator section. Uh, so we have a series, uh, and we're told that it converges, and that a sub n is positive uh, for all n. Which of the following must be true? Okay, so this is the ratio test, right? This, this thing right here is the ratio test. Um, but, but that's not uh, the conclusion we want, right? So, so if this converges, the ratio test uh, tells us that this limit is less than 1 doesn't tell us that it's necessarily zero, right? Uh, so that's definitely not a, a must-be-true situation, right? Because that's not what we're, we know, okay? Um, the next thing, do we know that all of the a sub n terms are less than 1? Not necessarily, right? Because there are series that converge where the first couple terms, they could be big, we don't know, so this is not something that we know, right? Um, we don't know what it converges to, right? So like, uh, converges means to a finite sum. Right, to a single finite value. It doesn't know, we don't know what value, we just know it converges to a single finite value. We don't know the value, so it definitely doesn't have to be zero. Okay, so now we're down to, to D or E, right? So the trick is that we don't know. So, so, so the question is, are, do we know that n times a convergent series is also convergent? Well, the problem is that we don't necessarily know that, right? We don't necessarily know. Uh, so, so bigger, right, bigger than a convergent series uh, could converge or diverge, right? It could converge or diverge, right? Um, let me give you an example of that. Let me, let me pretend for a sec, pretend for a sec that a sub n was a 1 over n squared. We know that converges because that's a p-series, right? So, so, if it, so, so we know that this converges because it's a p-series where p is 2. Well, n times 1 over n squared, right, well, that would diverge, right, because that would be a 1 over n, and that would diverge. But what if a sub n, right, but if a sub n had been like a 1 over n cubed, which also converges because it's a p-series, right, well, then n times that 1 over n cubed would be a 1 over n squared, which con converges. So I can't know that just multiplying by n makes it diverge, which lands me at e by default, right? It is e by default, but you can kind of see the logic of that because a sub n is going to be bigger than a sub n over n, right? Meaning, or let me re rewrite it the other way, right? So the original, so we know, right? We know, uh, we know that this sum converges, right? And since this thing must be smaller than this thing, smaller than convergent, also converges. So it has to be E. Um, again, it's, it's a little bit hard to get there sometimes. Sometimes like with this, when you get it narrowed down to D and E, it is a little bit easier to maybe make a counterexample of, hey, what if my A sub N were this series that I've memorized that converges, et cetera. Um, but that's kind of the idea. So that's, uh, that's 90 and your answer is E.